Welcome back to Morning Break as we take a live look outside from our WTOC Generator Supercenter downtown Savannah Sky Can. Beautiful view of the river and the Talmadge Bridge off in the distance. And if I stand up and I look out the window, you might be able to see me waving. Maybe not. But we are here at Platte Riverside District this morning. About 90% of Savannah State University students use some form of financial aid in order to get their degree. Many of those student scholarships come from here in the community through events like this weekend's Scholarship Gala. And this morning, I'm joined by the interim president, Cynthia Robinson Alexander, and Leandria, Leandria? Yeah, Leandria, Leandria Michael. Leandria Michael, the executive director of governmental relations. Thank you all so much for being here, ladies. And this is an exciting time as you kind of build towards this opportunity to not just encourage people to give back and support education, but also recognizing the people who have done kind of so much in our community. Absolutely. We are just thrilled with the outpour of support for this event. This is the 25th anniversary of the scholarship gala to support our students. We're 3,100 students and as you stated that 90 percent of our students have some form of support, financial support in, in order to attend and this is our opportunity to really um, get support from the community and our alums and really helping our students move forward. As if going to college wasn't hard enough, figuring out how you're going to pay for college to ultimately fund uh, that education is a challenge that you're, you're trying to alleviate with, with scholarships. How does this event really kind of pave the way to be able to do that? Well, this is our foundation in terms of really raising uh, money that will directly go to our students. And so um, we work very closely with our foundation throughout the year and, and really identifying those students need and to make sure that every student is afforded an opportunity to move forward and that a few dollars in many cases do not stop that progress. Give us an idea um, of what's happening at the, at the gala. I know you, obviously you're talking about raising money, but you're also kind of celebrating the people who have done so much in our community. Leandro, you want yes. to share? <laughs> yes, it is a masquerade gala, so it'll be a lot of fun. Um, really good music. Our jazz ensemble will be providing some entertainment, and we'll also give out some, not give out, acknowledge some community members with awards, um, leadership, arts and entertainment, philanthropy, scholarship, and all those kinds of things. So a great fundraiser, but also a great way to honor those people who give back so much. How important is that to, to recognize the people who, I mean, everybody you're giving of yourself and of your time and of your money to be able to support the future in these students, but also that they get recognized for something that they have done because they, we know how difficult it is sometimes for people to be able to come out and contribute. Well, I think the messaging is that it takes many and all of us to support this wonderful institution. And so we need to take a moment and to congratulate them and acknowledge them for all the hard work and ongoing support. We all know that all of our lives are extremely busy and that we have many areas that we could be volunteering or doing and we're just grateful for the support of these particular individuals that are going to be acknowledged on Saturday. And you got a couple of co-chairs of, of the event as well? Yes, um, this year leading the charge was Michael Williams who's an SSU alum he leads a company called Jet Air in Atlanta. And then also David Pattison, who is president of Sterling Seacrest Pritch Pritchard. He's a Savannah native who has definitely been a huge supporter for many years. And supporting supporting their home, which is al always important. You mentioned uh, a time celebrating and, and, and acknowledging accomplishments, acknowledging the accomplishments of the students who are about to, uh, to wrap up their school year coming up this Absolutely. week as well. Absolutely. On Friday, we are thrilled to announce that we uh, will be walking across the stage with 355 of our students and this is one of the largest graduating class in most recent history here so we're thrilled awesome kind of a way to set up the weekend of saying goodbye and congratulations to those graduates and then hey we are ready to fund and and, and take care of the next the next, round. next round of students thank you all so much for being here uh today uh the the gala is sold out we do want to know which is a good which is a good absolutely. thing absolutely because that means it's full but there's other ways that people can still contribute where, where should they go to find out information that 
Definitely. They should go to savannahstate.edu slash gala. They can still donate there. Okay. And then always give.savannahstate.edu. A great way to continue to contribute and contri mm -hmm. continue to support uh, those students at uh, Savannah State University. And we are just so grateful and thankful for the community and our alumni for that support. It sounds like it is definitely working for sure. Thank you all so much. All right, coming up, former football star Reggie Bush